We are now looking at a teaching video on quadratic inequalities. So specifically, we are looking at solutions to inequalities. So for part one that we are going to look at, we are looking at it as a tool to find inequalities. So you can have the U-shaped and the inverted U shape and the U shape graphs. So by that I mean when we examine the X terms here in the first factor and the X term there in the second factor, I get a product of 2X squared. So what it means is that the coefficient of X squared is positive and we will have a U shape. So we're using this two here to work out the inequalities. So for the first one, I have 2x minus 1. If I equate that to a 0, I'll get x equals half. So I have this point here, half. Then for the second factor, when I equate to 0, I get x equals to negative 3. So that will be the point here. So the two points where the curve cut the horizontal line will be negative 3 and half. Now, the product of these two factors really represent y. And where we have y greater than 0, what it means is that we are looking at the portion of the curve here above the horizontal line. So this portion, y greater than 0. So that is the part of the graph I'm looking at. And the corresponding x value for this part of the graphs would be here represented by this number line and also here so the result would be x less than negative 3 or x greater than half as for the next one, if I just look at the x term in the first factor, a negative x, and the second, and in the second factor, the x term, x, the product of this will be a negative x squared. So I will be looking at an inverted u shaped graph. And this is a tool to help me obtain the inequalities involving x. So when I equate the factor to a 0, I get x equals to 1. So that will be here. Next one, the second factor equated to 0, I get x equals to negative 3. And these two factors in a product really is the expression of y. So I will have y greater than 0. So it's the portion of the graph which is above the horizontal line. The portion of the graph that I'm looking at is this. You can see the corresponding x value for y greater than 0 will be here. All the x values are between negative 3 and 1. So the number line and the inequalities, negative 3, 
to 1. So that is the inequalities or the range of x value for this situation, y greater than 0. Now we look at the use of number line instead of the u-shape or inverted u-shape graphs. These two methods are really to get the uh, inequalities involving x or any other uh, variables. So for part A, looking for the range of values of x for which you have these inequalities. Then the first thing to do is to get that number line going. And there are two points that must be marked out on the number line. First one is where I have this factor x plus 3 equated to 0, I get negative 3. Then this factor equated to a 0, I get x equals to 5. So what I need to do is to partition this space here. <coughs> now, because of the less than or equal to 0, the product can be a 0. So which means that x can be a 5. Because when x is a 5, then this whole expression will be reduced to 0. And x can also be a negative 3, because then that will give me a 0, the whole expression will become a 0. So what I need to do is to just shape this dot, which means that 5 is inclusive in the solution set. But I have one line pointing to the right and one line pointing to the left. The line that points to the right simply means this. You see, I can take value of 5 and beyond. For instance, if I take a 6, I put in down, I put in there. 6 minus 5 is a positive quantity. So any value from 5 onwards that I take when I put into this factor, I will get a positive value. So, positive. Now, as for this number line, <coughs> if I have any value such as 4, put inside here, 4 minus 5, then I get a negative value, negative 1. So, I get a negative, I get a negative. If you want to test another point, negative 4 here, if I put in there, I get negative 9. So it's still overall negative. So as for the next line, negative 3 is included. I have a line going from this point to the right and from this point going to the left. So, the same way as we test out the section just now, if I have uh, negative 4, I put in here, I get a negative value. For this line here, I take 4. If I put a 4 in there, this will be a positive value. So positive, positive. So in other words, to make things simpler, any line that points to the right, I will have the section positive. And any line that points to the left, I have the section negative. So you can see the product must be a zero or a negative value. So I take this as product. Positive times positive, give me a, a positive. Positive times negative is a negative. Negative times negative is a positive. So the region that we are looking at is this region. So that's the result that we need. 
the inequalities involving x would be negative 3 to 5 inclusive of the negative 3 and 5 so this is using the number line to work out the range of values of x for b we are looking for the range of values of x but you can notice that when I take the x term in the first factor and the x term in the second factor, multiply them together, I have negative x squared. Now, it's unlike the previous two that we had, we could actually use uh, inverted u-shaped graph in my first point. but now we are looking at using number line then i have to do one thing before i draw the number line that is i will take out the negative here and multiply negative one to both sides one step at a time first negative x minus two times x plus three less than zero when i multiply both sides or divide both sides by negative one I will have this x minus 2 times x plus 3 and the inequality sign will be changed so the, the number line here when I equate this to a 0 I get x equals to 2 and equate this to a 0 I get a negative 3 again partitioning the space here since it's just greater than zero I can't have the product giving me a zero so x equals to negative three is out x equals to two is out so I will not shake the dot one line to the right one line to the left and to the right, positive, to the left, negative. Then on x equals to negative 3, unshaded dot, one line to the right and one line to the left. To the right, all positive, to the left, negative. Since I'm looking for the product to be positive positive times positive is positive that is a good result that will give me a negative result rejected negative and negative will give me a positive result that is taken in so the inequalities involving x will be x greater than 2 or x less than negative 3 for part c we are looking really at simultaneous inequalities so using the number line i have a couple of points here Two, followed by 3, 4, and 5. The first one, x is between 2 and 5. The inequality is represented by the line there in yellow. The two extreme points are not included as part of the solution so 2 and 5 not part of it and therefore the dots are not shaded next i will have x less than 3 is represented by this line 3 is not part of the solution but anything less than 3 will be 
and here I have 4 as part of the solution so I shade the dot and anything beyond 4 so if I look at the overlap between the yellow line and the purple line this will be the overlap so the inequalities involving x will be from 2 to 3 or 4 to 5 but inclusive of 4 So you can see with the number line, we can just get the range of x values and it is more versatile with the number line than compared to the u-shape or the inverted u-shape graph method. So that method, the u-shape or the inverted u-shape graph method is basically for any inequalities uh, involving quadratic expression. So we come to the end of this video.